friends if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon and now choose the all option to get a notification whenever i upload a new video hi friends welcome to venki's channel if you haven't watched the previous videos click on the top right corner in the previous class we have learned how to divide three digit numbers by one digit numbers using abacus today we are going to learn the same but using visualization I have told you that it will be a lot easier to do it using visualization. So let's see how. The first step in doing it in visualization is we have to check the first digit in the dividend and the divisor and whether it's greater than the divisor. Here the first digit in the dividend is 1 and 1 is lesser than 9. So we cannot take it. So we have to include the next digit as well. 19 is greater than 9 so we can use it 9 into what is closest to 19 9 into 2 is 18 which is closest to 19 it should be lesser than 19 as always we get a remainder of 1 so we have to write the remainder beside the third digit so we fill read it together it becomes 19 again So nine into what is closest to nineteen again? It is two. Nine two is eighteen, and again we have a remainder of one. So we have to keep a point. We have a remainder of one. So if we keep a zero beside one, it becomes ten. Nine into one is nine, which is closest to ten. Nine into one is nine. So ten minus nine is one, and again we have the remainder of one. So again, it becomes ten, and again nine ones are nine, and it keeps on going because again we'll have the remainder one. Now let's check two forty seven divided by two. Let's see the first digit two. Two is equal to two. I told you that in the previous class, if they are equal also, we can take it. Two into one is equal to two. And now we have to check the second digit. It is four. Four is greater than two, so we can use it. Two into two is four. We don't have any remainder, so we can use it. And now we have seven as the third digit. Seven is greater than two, so we can use it as well. Two into three is six, and we have a remainder of one, so we have to keep a decimal point. We have the remainder of one, so we have to keep a zero beside one, and it becomes ten. Two into five is ten, and we don't have any remainder. So this is the final answer. This answer is also known as the quotient in division. It is one twenty three point five. Now let's do the next problem. Three not five divided by six. Let's check the first digit. Three. Three is lesser than six, so we cannot use it. We have to include the next digit as well. Then it becomes three zero thirty. Thirty is greater than six, so we can use it. Six into five is thirty, and we don't have any remainder, so no need to write any digit beside five. And now five is less than six, so we cannot use it. But as you can see, there is no other digit after five. So we have to write it as zero because six zeros are is zero, and now we have a remainder of five because six zeros are is zero and five minus zero is five. If we keep a zero beside five, it becomes fifty. Fifty divided by six is eight. Six eights are is forty-eight, and we have a remainder of two. If we keep a zero beside two, it becomes twenty. So six threes are is eighteen, and again we have a remainder of two. So again it becomes twenty, and six threes are is eighteen. So it keeps on going as fifty point eight three 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 and so on. Now let's do the last problem. Eight ninety three divided by eight. Let's check the first digit. Eight. And eight, they are equal, so we can use them. Eight into one is equal to eight. No remainder. So let's go for the next digit. Nine. 
9 is greater than 8 so we can use it again 8 into 1 is 8 again now we have a remainder of 1 because 9 minus 8 is 1 so we have to write 1 beside the third digit now we have 13 8 1s are is 8 and we'll have a remainder of 5 so we have to keep a decimal point and if we keep a 0 beside 5 it becomes 50 so 8 6 is 48 and we'll have a remainder of 2 if we keep a 0 beside 2 it becomes 20 8 2 is 16 and now we'll have a remainder of 4 if we keep a 0 beside 4 it is 40 8 into 5 is 40 so our answer is 11.625 in this way we can solve 3 digit divided by 1 digit problems in a very simple manner by now you might have understood that this method is way simpler than the abacus method friends today's question of the day is 676 divided by 4 Give your answer for this question in the comment section. Friends, don't try to do it in calculator or using any other method. Try to do it using the same method. In the next class, we'll learn how to multiply three digit numbers with one digit numbers. Bye friends. Thank you for watching.